Cloud has become one of the most popular platforms for enterprise to deploy applications and store their data. Software as a service provider are also using the Azure platform extensively by providing uh, on-demand access to Azure infrastructure over an internet connection. As the Azure architect consists of multiple components like virtual network, web app, database service, and so on, it becomes crucial that these Azure components should be secure against potential attacks in order to avoid unwanted circumstances, such as unauthorized access, system downtime, or leak of sensitive information about your business operation. Before moving to the sentence, before moving to the sentence, Pentest. Let's first understand how Microsoft Azure Pen Testing procedure. Microsoft conducts Azure penetration testing based on assumed breach procedure. In this case, the following aspects are tested: intrusion and attack detection, rapid response on to re intrusion, recovery after data leak, safety against further uh, future attacks. There are two teams in the pen test team. One is a red team one, another one is a blue team. For Azure penetration testing, the red team is responsible for simulating an attack on Azure platform without affecting customer data. While the blue team is in charge of countering this attack and recovery. Once the blue team detect any breach, they will be collect all evidence regarding the incident, notify all operations and engineers engineering team specify the chart to detect whether it requires further investigation, create a plan to alleviate, elevate the chart, execute the plan and recover the affected system. After the attack, both the blue and red teams commence to analyze the attempt and respond to the attack. Details such as the following are uh, analyzed and discussed. Timing of the breach, Mechanism of the breach, compromise system and access. If the blue team was able to mitigate the attack, while well, the step to follow while conducting the Azure pen test involves identifying identifying the potential vulnerability in Azure infrastructure, assessing them to determine the impact they can have on your business, and recommending mitigation strategy. The following are some steps that should be followed while conducting an Azure penetration testing. Microsoft also encourages the user to test their Azure services and report their findings to help in fixing and patching the security gap. However, to protect their customer data and to avoid disruption in the services. Users need to follow some rules while pen testing. To conduct the uh, pen test, you will need to choose that can either work automatically or can be operated manually. Below are some open source tools that you can use for Azure penetration testing. First, Azure Card. This is a multi track plugin that automatically audit your Azure environment and collect all relevant details regarding the platform. It analyzes the collected data to detect any security concerns that might be present. The second, PowerJoy. PowerJoy is a PowerShell-based script that can be used for both record and testing Azure. It has several functionalities for information collection, credential access, and data action. Microbus. It is a powerful tool to truly to test your Azure deployment. It can be used to detect weak configuration, service discovery, and many other post validation objectives. Number four, CS Suite Web Security Suite. This tool let you conduct a comprehensive cloud test on various services, including the Microsoft Azure. Sync with 
now we know the rules and truth for AU penetration testing. We can dive into the fact and area we can set. There are three major areas of our fantasy in AU F2. Let's go for discussion. The first is assessing AU guard services. Once the AU is deployed, the first thing to check is access management. The first place to set is the AU portal. Check the access policy. Uh, check the AJO access directory to review user who have access to your AJO services. Remove any unknown or unauthorized user from the access list. Additionally, harden the access by using multi factor authentication or login. If using other access gateway for AJO, now uh, you can use the PowerShell or REST API. Check if the connection is encrypted. Also, be careful about the persisting credential across different machines. This alternative method to access Azure can be an attribute target for attacks such as man in the middle attack and snooping. Using appropriate permission for different user roles is a must for keeping your application safe. Azure provides three different roles reader, contributor, and owner. The owner has the highest set of spirit followed by contributor and reader. Make sure that the principle of this spirit applies to all users. While pen testing, you can check if any user has elevated the permission that do not match with their role. In Azure SQL, users store their data in the Microsoft SQL database, which are ported by multiple security tools by Microsoft over server layer. These tools include server and network level firewall, data masking to name a few. Regarding the network level security, ensure that both server and database level server uh, database level firewall are functioning. They can be configured by while listing IP as compared by to blacklisting. For server Level firewall, it controls access to a server that might host multiple databases. A database level firewall is necessary, necessary to protect the uh, to protect the individual database and provide a fine grain security. Always encrypted database engine is a powerful addition to Azure by Microsoft. This ensures that all data is encrypted in the client application before sending it to a database and the encryption key is never revealed to even database manager. This ensures that not even Microsoft administrator do not have access to uh, sensitive data. Data masking can also help in case complete data encryption is not possible. In Azure, data masking protects sensitive data from tools uh, from those who are not required access to it. This can be particularly useful in scenarios such as storing financial details of customer and this can be configured by Azure SQL CMD uh, commander portal or REST API. For a secure cloud platform, encryption plays a very important part Data in the cloud needs to be encrypted both in the transit and at rest. For in transit encryption, you can use the latest HTTPS or DLS implementation. Chance of unauthorized access from the user and need to be analyzed and if required. Secure protocol such as VPN can also be used. Encrypting the uh, in rest data is a bit complicated. Think they are off in every option. If you choose uh, to encrypt all data stored in Azure, you generate an encryption key. This key can be stored either on Azure itself or on premise. By handing over the encryption key to Azure, you get convenience and seamless integration across your Azure platform. But you you will lose control over the key backup or and rotation. For managing your key on premise require you to take complete responsibility for protecting them from the attacker. 
by you by using educate well, you can control risk and your services can access it. But if attacker get their hands in this one, well, they can use this key to decrypt all sensitive sensitive data. It depends on the organization whether it is capable of managing encryption key on premise or allow Microsoft to be in charge of them. And here you can see the most common Azure services that will be tagged by the uh, attacker. App services. This, uh, this service is inclusive of app services and function apps in Azure. These services can be used for serverless, web application, and API hosting. Second, storage account. Storage account are used for most data storage operation in Azure. File can be publicly or privately hosted, and file can be accessed through the server protocol. This service can also be used for static web content hosting. Automation account. Number third, another serverless code of services. Automation account allow you to run scripting code from Bamboo to automate process in the subscription. There is a lot of surface area in this service, so we will return to it frequently throughout the book. Number four, virtual machine. One of the initial backbones of cloud services. These are VM hosted in the cloud. There are multiple factors uh, to define virtual machine in the cloud. So this service will also be a uh, focal point. Key one, Azure key ones are the primary credential store in within Azure. This includes the story key, secret, and certificate. Aside from utilizing the standard identity and access management IAM right assignment, access policy can be applied to provide additional decision on the wild data. Azure SQL, this service is for hosting SQL database. In the cloud, everything about the SQL database is managed by Microsoft which can help simplify the user database in Azure project. Azure Container Registry Container or Azure Container Instance. And many environments start migrating containerized the uses of Cloud Container. Registry and Cloud Container Instance is becoming more popular. Azure Container Registry holds the container image used as a base image for containerization. While it's a relatively small part of a uh, containerized environment, this service is a common target common target third as one. As the image frequently house sensitive hosting the sensitive information. For today's demo, I will share with you about how to use the MS OER spray. MS OER, MS OER spray uh, to gain access to the actual AD account. But as not, you need to test by your own risk. Any uh, dialog of your Microsoft Azure subscription, I will not responsible for it. Okay, I at first I will get the uh from the uh MS OS spray to the my Pentest machine then and navigate to the uh my to the Pentest PowerShell and import the module PowerShell script and run one. Then I get out to the Azure portal. The user actually went LSV, 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 Then I change the password to winter 2020. Then I run the script, I run, run the command, then it will execute again. Then if I, the user is not found, then it will say that zero total user to spread. And now I change again with the user. Uh, inside the user.csv, then it will change again. Then after that, you can go to AUAAD access 
we have person email uh, to access and the password that you created like uh, winter 2020 then you will have then uh, the access to their Azure ID portal In conclusion, securing Azure means making choice is almost all aspect depending on your requirement. Azure pen testing is not only for analyzing the security standard, but also to understand what works for you. A true pen test will help you understand how to improve the Azure security and keep your application safe. While annually, it can be tricky and if proper protocol are not followed by test them with percussion. That's all for my today presentation. Sorry for the uh for the voice input because some issue so for hardware issue. I hope you all enjoy it. If you got any comment please uh comment at the my video or message me, then I will do a recording again. That's all for today, uh, streaming. Thank you for you joining the Global Azure 2022.